This is the new patch notes that they... Yeah, these are the new patch notes that they um, put out yesterday. They tweeted about these new patch notes 1.1.3 on all platforms. Um, it's going to be updated on the 29th, guys, of August. Um, and here's the new changes. Apparently, the big changes here are all going to be crowd control um, changes. So... It looks like crowd control sources, they've made some big changes here. So cold enhance, elites that attack in quick succession, like the ghost archers or snakes, no longer proc it on every hit. Chilling wind spawns overlapping walls less often. The stun ability from the gorgers can now be more easily avoided. Increase cooldown from goatmen, reduce the amount of chill applied from the cold spider attack, reduce stun duration from the snake eyes. Um, by 0.25 seconds, which, I mean, 0.25 seconds is good. Other changes that reduce how often the player can be targeted by crowd control. These changes are amid the at the player having less time being crowd controlled and receiving more recovery time after being crowd controlled, especially at the higher tiers. Yeah, I mean, a big issue with crowd control is because this, like, a lot of the not only skills for us as players but the monsters it seems like everything just kind of lives and dies by crowd control you get such a big power boost when you're crowd controlling enemies um and on almost every single class and then they just isolate us and kill us you i mean i don't know how much this is going to help us from being perma stunned until we die but hopefully it helps and then they got some general stuff here the death explosion from fire enchanted monsters releases one less wave and does less damage okay that's nice the damage from the bloated corpse fiends charge attack has been reduced by 14 percent um that i mean that's good uh the the corpse fiends like that that explosion takes a long time for it to explode you really should be dodging it but i can understand i've been hit by this a few times so 14 percent less damage seems okay and then the affixes on items will now sort consistently. We're adjusting how affixes are displayed on item tooltips in Season of Blood. This change will lay the foundation for our ongoing work to make random affixes easier to compare. I don't know what that means. Oh, I see what they're talking about. They're talking about on, on our gear pieces to where like if you wanted to compare items for example to where like you could sort these so it like reads critical strike chance and then you could just look across and the top one says critical strike chance so they're all in the same order instead of like kind of being all over the place for your items if that's what that means then that's that's kind of nice that'll make things a little bit easier on that front um so that's kind of cool the seasonal and my class filters in the codex of power menu now now remember the setting previously selected by the player okay navigating the glyph upgrade menu on controller is more natural and then you can look at all of the achievements that you get there's a long series here of bug fixes which i guess help with some things um in the season and then gameplay the following skills and powers were applied by a player on a monster and other players unexpectedly able to benefit so we no longer benefit from things like twisting blades hitting enemies and your teammates getting the bonuses from those same thing with the paragon nodes and glyphs so that's kind of cool um druids have some inventory space clear up with the spirit offerings however you shouldn't be picking this up at all after you get it i don't even know why you would but um yeah they've already fixed that stuff uh with cinders and that and then there's some user face issues and then miscellaneous stuff so um yeah i mean uh overall like the crowd control stuff seems good we're gonna have to really test it and just kind of see uh what's going on with this um the snake stuff is pretty good the less cold enchant seems okay because i guess now the cold enchant enchant is really um the end all about being like perma stunned almost in a way so maybe that will help um because getting cold frozen by like archer snakes and spiders and stuff that attacks really easily you just like die pretty much so maybe this will help going into season two maybe this is another big step in the right direction as far as making the overall game state of diablo 4 better 
I don't know. You let me guys know down in the chat. Um, like the video, guys. I'm going to leave these patch notes down here in the description. You guys let me know what you guys think. Um, and hopefully this is another step in the right direction on top of what we got in the um, release patch notes and everything that's coming to the game from um, GameCon a few days ago. So let me know what you guys think. And as always, subscribe to the channel and stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.